In this month's tool tip, we're going to take a look at the Remove Overlaps tool. If I'd like to add some flowers to this design, it would create an issue as they overlapped with too much density in this area. If I select Design that I have on top, it will act as a cutter as I select the Remove Overlap icon, and it will cut away the layers beneath. And it doesn't matter if the items are grouped or ungroup. I also have an opportunity to adjust the amount of the design underneath that is cut away. If I go to Settings and Options, I can select the Remove Overlaps tab. I can change from its default down to 0.5. This reduces the amount of overlapped area. The objects for cutting do need to be solid objects. Objects that are made of lightweight or see-through fills will not work for cutting away objects underneath. Another fun use of the overlap tool is with lettering. It does function beautifully with lettering, and if I create a duplicate of the lettering and set it just up and off to the side, and then select the Remove Overlap tool, the underlying lettering is cut away. If I pick this up and move it, you can see undo to put it back. This would stitch out beautifully and I've just created shadow lettering. There's one more fun effect. If you'd like to create a quilt block and used a stipple fill to surround an embroidery, first create a solid square of step fill the size of your block. Insert the embroidery design. Use the remove overlaps icon to cut away the area of fill that you would not like to have stipple. You can see once that's processed that the holes have been cut in the fill. I can select the fill, select a stipple run stitch, and I now have a quilt block with stipple fill surrounding my embroidery design.